Good evening, Lizzie boys, and Merry Christmas. One of the most requested videos that I can make in the month of December is a Christmas haul. I always get tons of comments asking me if I'm planning on making one on the day of Christmas and the day after, and today I can confirm that I am making a Christmas haul. My extended family just showed up. They had not been here all day, and now they're all here right when I'm trying to record. Isn't that funny? If you guys hear some barking in the background of this video, I'm sorry. I can't really do anything about that. This is the only time I have to record. I'm gonna be busy the rest of the day, so... Yeah, just bear with me, I guess. With that, this is the most requested video that I can make of the year. So today we're going to be making my Christmas haul, showing you guys what I got, so let's begin. So I got a variety of things, including like dolls and clothing, as well as a plushie. And I'm going to start with this doll that my aunt got for me. And by my aunt got for me, I mean that I bought and she offered to give me the money for because she didn't know what to get me, which is fair. I realize that I tend to buy a lot of the stuff that I want throughout the year and I don't leave my family much to get for me, so yeah. I got this adorable Olivia Flutter doll. She's my probably my favorite Series 4 tween. I'll do a review of her in the next few days, most likely, but she's adorable and I'm very happy with her. <laughs> I feel so mean shoving her off like that, but we have to move on to the next gift. The next thing I got was this adorable Mimikyu. This was gifted to me by one of my real life friends, and I specify real life because, you know, like, they stopped by my house to deliver it to me. And then I gave them their gift, which was a bunch of those signs that say like, warning, gamer at play, do not enter. And he laughed his ass off, so that was fun. Mimikyu is one of my favorite Pokemon and I absolutely love this little creature. So I'm very happy to have gotten a plushie of it. <sighs> I don't know what to show you guys next. I do real quick wanna show you guys what my presents were wrapped with because my mom discovered that she still had some of this Monster High wrapping paper and there's illustrations of Abby, there's one of Frankie on here that I don't think I've ever seen anywhere other than this wrapping paper. There's one of Cleo with a hat on, Draculaura with a hat on. So the main characters featured are ironically Abby and Cleo instead of Claudine. Claudine's nowhere to be seen anywhere on this sheet. There's two different Draculauras, two different Frankies, and one Abby and one Cleo. It's very cute. I very much like this wrapping paper. So I'm actually deciding to keep it. I'm probably gonna like do something with it, maybe, maybe hang it up on the wall. I haven't really decided yet, but I am going to do something with it. I am going to keep some of it. Also, if you saw me hide these, it's because I already own them. These were not a present. I just left them downstairs, so yeah. The next thing that I got was Regina Hart from the LOL Tweens Masquerade Party Line. Once again, this is a doll that I picked out for myself in the store and my mom bought for me. And Regina is probably my number one favorite from this line. She's just absolutely adorable. I love everything about her. Look at her little afro puffs with the little crowns as her scrunchies. Try to look me in the eyes and tell me that's not absolutely adorable. She also has a super cute outfit just in general. I love the LOL tweens, I think, more than the OMG dolls, just because, like, they're in such a small scale, so they don't take up as much space, but also, they're so detailed for the size. Like, it honestly just impresses me. <laughs> so, you guys can expect a review of Regina if you guys would like one. I might upload both tween reviews on the same day or something, I don't know. But overall, she's absolutely adorable, and I cannot wait to get her out of the box. Set her down over here with Olivia. Make you please don't crush the wrapping paper. Okay, we're gonna work some stuff out. There we go, yeah. Ideal. Next up, I have some little miscellaneous things. My mom got me this cute little skincare thing and also this perfume called Good Fortune. I actually smelled this at the mall for the first time and it smelled so good. Like check out how beautiful the bottle is. <laughs> it's so nice. If I could just figure out how to get it out of there. I don't know, but look, it's a beautiful bottle. It smells amazing. If you guys ever see this at your mall, I recommend spraying some on your sleeve. I guarantee it'll be there for a week because that's what happened when I first smelled this. It's very good. It's also very expensive. So yeah, thank you parents for buying me this. The next thing that I got was Rainbow High's Mina Fleur. I always liked Mina, but I never went out of my way to get her. Now my grandma bought her for me. She was like 14 bucks on Amazon when my grandma got her. There's a chance the doll's even cheaper currently because did you know Shadow High dolls are like 10 bucks on Amazon right now? I'm not even kidding. Like Chanel, Luna, I think Nicole are all like nine something on Amazon right now. So there's a chance that series four is also cheaper, but I don't know. This Mina turned out being very pretty, pretty much perfect. And I'm not sure if I'll do a review on her. I might, but I'm just very happy to have this doll because while I am losing interest in Rainbow High, I always like Mina, so I'm happy to have her. 
The box is in pretty good shape overall. Not much damage to it anywhere, which is good. So yeah, gotten quite a few dolls so far. It's been pretty nice. My next gifts are in this box here. I got this adorable skirt from Hot Topic. This one was actually on sale on Black Friday. And let me show you guys the full skirt. It's absolutely adorable and goes very well with some of the other clothing items that I got for Christmas. I'm trying to just figure out how to spread it out. And there we go. It's just this super cute black and pink skirt with like this plaid print going on on it. It's very nice. I also got this Monster High shirt, which you guys can see there what the name of it is. It's a crest plaid tear front made in Vietnam. Very specific, yes, thank you. Basically, it's like those button-up shirts that I usually wear. If you guys have ever seen them, one of the videos where I show myself, kind of. It's a collared shirt with buttons in the front, and it's super cute. I did actually try on a small, so we had to get the medium, because the small was just a bit too tight in the chest area. That's not to say I have huge boobs, more just that my chest is wide. My boobs are small. But yeah, overall, I think these two things together would make a very cute outfit, comboed with the Monster High hoodie, which I also got from Hot Topic. I'll have to show you guys the hoodie. I'd been wearing it today, but I actually took it off, so I'm not wearing it currently. But I was wearing it before. But I'll, I'll show you guys later in the video, I promise. Uh, this is another thing I got. It's a face roller thing. I've never used one of these before, but it looked like fun, so that's fun. Anyway, on to the Monster High dolls. I finally got Basic Deuce. My mom actually ordered this doll for me for Christmas alongside um, Gorgonizer Draculaura, but she gave me Gorgonizer Draculaura early. So Deuce has kind of just been sitting here waiting for his time to shine. Yeah, I'll probably do a review on him if you guys want me to. But I feel like most people forgot that this doll even existed because I swear to God, I never see anyone post about him. He's cool though. I'm excited to unbox him and see what he's like in person. Box is a little pushed in at the back here. It's interesting. Overall, box is in nice shape and I'm excited to unbox him. I think it'll be fun. My final doll gift that I got was Creepover Party Frankie. I have been very excited to get this doll just because I want to see what they're like in person. Deuce, wait your fucking turn. But basically, I've been wanting to see what this doll looked like in person, and their forehead really is just as big as I thought it was going to be. They cannot beat the big forehead allegations as much as I love them. So, I'm happy with this doll. I mean, I did put them on my list as one of my least favorite G3 dolls of the year, but the reason for that is just because the outfit's a little incohesive. I feel like if I took off the big puffy robe, maybe I'll like them more. I don't know. Maybe a different hairstyle would do them some good, like maybe some bangs to cover that thang that they call a forehead. Overall, they're cute. I'm very excited to do a review of this doll. And I actually picked this doll out for myself. I found them at the store the same day that I found my Draculaura. And I just decided, oh, mom, you could get me this one for Christmas. I would have gotten Claudine too. But fun fact, I did not find Claudine in the store that day, and I still haven't found these dolls in the store anywhere near me. The one that I, the store that I found this Frankie at was like two hours away. So, you know, we're like never going back there, because that's like super far away. But, um, yeah, this is the Francis, the Francis Stein, the Frank. So finally, here is that hoodie that I mentioned to you guys. It's super cute. It has like these studs along the hood, and the inside has this pink plaid which is, as I mentioned, very similar to the skirt that I got over here. It's not exactly the same, but it's very close. The only difference is that this one has like a slight yellow line going through it, and this one does not have yellow or white lines, which this skirt has. But overall, I think they'll look good together. It's a super cute hoodie. It's very well made. It's soft inside, has this little heart-shaped zipper. Um, and on the back, there is a huge Monster High crest. I know this hoodie looks gigantic, but this is actually a size small. I don't know, it's just a huge piece of clothing. I ripped the tags off, but it was a size small. We'd gotten a medium at first, because I'm usually a medium, but the medium was even larger, so... I don't know. And no, we definitely didn't order plus size by mistake, this is just a huge sweater. It's very cute though, I like it. And since it's been like really cold where I am, like 30 something degrees, which is... Very rare for Florida, but you know, it's been very cold recently. This thing has been keeping me warm. I like it. All in all, these are the things that I got for Christmas. I'm very happy with everything that I got, and I think that this is like the perfect amount of stuff. It's not too much, which is 
pretty much the only threshold type thing that there should be. Because, you know, there's like, there's no such thing as like not enough, but there is such a thing as too much. And I feel like this is perfect. Um, some other stuff I got that I wasn't able to show you guys. Uh, I got a shirt that my grandma gave me, a dress that my grandma gave me, and then my aunt gave me some cash because, again, she didn't know what to get me. Although she did buy me this doll. So, I don't know, maybe she didn't know what else to get me, but she gave me some money and I bought myself a new phone recently, so I'm just gonna put that money towards it. Um, in case you're wondering, oh, Lizzie, why'd you need a new phone? This one is two years old and the battery is terrible. This thing stays charged for, like, little to no time at all. Not to mention it just doesn't have enough storage, so I just needed more storage. That was one of the main reasons I bought one. But, yeah, these are all the dolls I got. So I've got some reviews to make, which will be fun. And got some fun outfits to wear. Some skincare to catch up on, because I don't have a skincare routine. And good fortune perfume to smell, because it smells so good. It's, it's literally insane. Why does it smell as good as it does? But yeah, overall, I hope you guys had a very nice day, very Merry Christmas, or just a nice day in general if you don't celebrate Christmas. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!